Welcome everyone, my name is Jamir Ahmed and I work in technical marketing at Cloudflare on everything application security and performance related. And in this session, I'm going to talk about securing developer secrets with Cloudflare. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So why is securing secrets critical? Well, exposed secrets lead to data breaches, and we've seen this play out in many different scenarios. A common one here is developers pushing code to repositories and forgetting to remove hard-coded credentials. Hackers have bots out there scrubbing repositories, even prior versions and archives, simply looking for one time where a developer accidentally published code without removing credentials. Now, keep in mind, this is a risk even in private repositories, which if they're hacked, the keys to the kingdom are exposed. There can also be a risk from someone who may have access to the repositories, but shouldn't have access to view or know the secrets. So first, what is a secret? Well, secrets are variables used by developers to store sensitive information, and only authorized users and systems should have access. Failure to secure leads to unauthorized access of information, and a secrets manager provides centralized storage for secrets and access controls to securely manage those secrets. So who are the users of a secrets manager? Well, we know developers, right? They're primarily focused on creating apps, they want to build quickly and need performant and scalable solutions. Secrets management for them is all about ease of use, efficiency, performance, and reliability. In addition to developers, we also have security admins. They're tasked with ensuring secrets remain secure and are responsible for safeguarding that sensitive information, ensuring best practices are met, and managing any fallout of an incident. They also verify that developers are building in a secure and foolproof manner. Now, at the end of the day, we really just want to increase developer velocity. However, we want to make sure we're doing it securely. So let's take a look at a few use cases here. First, we have centrally storing and managing account level secrets. Developers want to focus on application development and performance, and they need an easy way to securely store, manage, and rotate secrets. They want to store securely once and use repeatedly across different scripts and applications. Now, we have many customers who have thousands of scripts and secrets. They've been asking for this capability. So now they can create and store once and use repeatedly instead of having to recreate the same secret for every script. Another use case is managing access with granular policies. Developers need a simplified method of controlling who can access the application secrets. Some roles may need access to the code, but don't need to know or use the secrets. Some roles may need read access, but not edit or admin access. Perhaps not everyone who has access to the code, for example, a code reviewer, needs to be able to access the secret. Another important use case here is visibility and auditing of secrets usage. Organizations need visibility and auditing into the usage of secrets. Security admins are already tied down monitoring, investigating, and responding to incidents and threats. They need easy visibility and auditing into secrets usage. Basically, they need operational simplicity. So now, why Cloudflare Secret Store for secrets management? Well, first, Cloudflare is known as a leader in application security and well positioned to provide this capability. We're building a better, more secure internet and secrets management is a big part of that. You have our global network and performance, 335 cities across 125 countries and 50 milliseconds from about 95% of the world's internet connected population. So you're gonna get a performance solution. Consolidation, one-stop shop, store secrets without leaving Cloudflare. And you can consolidate with security, performance, and developer services, all with Cloudflare. Cross-product integration, so workers today and plans to integrate with other security products in the near future. Now, with our connectivity cloud, we allow customers to connect, protect, and build, providing services across application performance and security, network services, zero trust, and developer services. Now, within developer services, we have full stack application, serverless functions, object storage, databases and media, streaming capabilities, and even AI where customers can deploy AI models right at the edge. 
Cloudflare is a full stack platform. And to protect the application now, in addition to all the application security services, customers with Cloudflare Secret Store with workers can add additional level of security at the developer level. It provides a secure centralized location for account level secrets. And secrets are securely encrypted and in seconds stored across all Cloudflare data centers globally. So bringing it all together here, at the left, a request comes in to the closest data center to the user where Cloudflare DNS and CDN is also used to enhance performance. And WAF and DDoS and other application security services are here protecting the application, which in this case is also written on Cloudflare workers. Now, perhaps authentication here to the application is done through Cloudflare application security capabilities like MTLS or JOT validation. And here, Workers is making, making a call to an LLM provider, but needs to authenticate to the provider. So using a binding the worker has with the required secrets and secret store, it's able to authenticate and pull back the required information from the LLM. Of course, the secrets used by the application and anything else for that matter can be managed by the UI or API. Okay, now to wrap up, I'll walk through a demo of secret store. Okay, so you can see I'm already in the Cloudflare dashboard. I'm in Secret Store. I have a number of secrets I've already created. I can come here, edit, duplicate, delete a secret. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new secret. I'll give this guy a name called Test Secret. You can see the permission scope is workers and I'll just put in a random value here and click save. And you can see at the bottom here, Test Secret has been created with permission scope of workers. The status is pending. Now, once the secret is distributed globally to all Cloudflare data centers, the status will change to active. I'm gonna to go to workers and I'm gonna scroll down to a script here I call I have called secrets. You can see the route is secrets.cftme.com. If I click view bindings, you can see it's already bound to several secrets within Secret Store. I've already done this. So if I go to the web page now, it just prints out all those secrets to show you it's working. I'm gonna go back to my worker script here worker scripts and I'm gonna go to another script called Joker. You can see the route is joker.tftme.com. And if I click view bindings here, you'll see this script is bound to a secret for OpenAI, basically the OpenAI key, so I can make API calls to OpenAI. So here in the code, you can see I'm making a call to secret store to get that secret. And then I'm using that secret to make a request to OpenAI to return a pun about Cloudflare. So if I go to the web page, it returns that pun about Cloudflare in the response.